Yes, what sir. I was I wanted to know, the, the couple questions that come up, but one thing is um, what struck me as very interesting is you comparing uh, comparing the Middle Sorry, West, not, not the Middle West with the, the Middle East. And um, what I want to know is what's wrong with sitting over a cup of coffee and discussing problems? And um, what's what's wrong with compromise? And um, and and don't you think that, uh, or I would think that compromise is not only a, it's a practical, it's practical, but it also seems to me it's a spiritual or ethical. Uh, I mean, isn't God in favor of, of compromise? Um, and um, <laughs> and uh, the last thing is, um, I, I've heard Farrakhan speak, um, and uh, he reminds me a lot of you. Um, and it's good. I'm glad you spoke out against him and, 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 and Carmichael and, and Jackson, and I hope they would speak out against you too, because it seems like, like you're both on uh, ex extremist sides. Um, and, and why does uh, power or, or, or feeling, feeling, I mean, we've been, I'm Jewish, okay, and, and we've yes, been. We've, I, I know, I right. know. Oh, right. <laughs> and uh, it just seems that, that, that to be strong and, and uh, committed to, to, to me as a person, us as a people, doesn't have to mean to be not non-compromising and, and, uh, and just um, so rigid. I don't think there is strength in being rigid. I think it's weak. Okay. There's nothing wrong with sitting down over coffee and cake with people that you can sit down with. How come they didn't sit down over coffee and, and cake with us for 40 years when they thought that they could kill us and win a war? How come? Because when they think that they can win, there's no coffee and cake. When they think that they can't win, except through Jews such as yourself, who was a good Jew, and I, and I say that quickly, and a decent Jew, and a well-meaning Jew, but a naive Jew. They know that you can, only you, and I don't mean you personally, only people who think as, as you do, only you can help them eventually win, because they can never beat us in a war. I'm ready to sit down with anybody. I have nothing. I have always said we should sit down with Arafat, always, and tell him no. I think that when Jews say there is a difference between Arafat and Hussein, that's a dangerous statement to make. Because then what they're saying is, well, they see, there are bad Arabs and then there are good Arabs. Hussein wants exactly what Arafat wants, except he's cleverer. He learned the lesson. If you say nice things about Jews, then they'll toss money at you, or the Sinai. Compromise? We accepted a compromise in 1947, or don't you know? We gave up 80% of our land, or don't you know? How much do you want to compromise until Israel is one meter by one meter? We've done the compromising, and we lost 6,000 Jew Jews in 1948 after that compromise, which was turned down by them. Compromise. I don't compromise with people who have made it clear to me that the land of Israel is Palestine, all of it, and that today they'll go to 1967, then tomorrow to 1947, and then the next day to 007. Compromise. I'm ready to compromise. Land for peace. I'm a great believer in land for peace. I'll keep the land and give them peace. <laughs>